again. This is Desiree, and uh, as some of you may know, I just finished a long, um, <laughs> a long ink writing and swatching video yesterday um, with a bunch of different samples. Uh, but I did want to get this uh, journal flip finished for August because it's already, you know, getting along in September here. So, um, so I thought I would do a quick journal flip this morning. Uh, it's a beautiful morning. The sun is coming in. It's a very fresh uh, morning. I'm looking out at the neighbor's apple tree um, with some uh, pink lady apples. We have a lot of different varieties of apples here in Washington, and those look really lovely. Uh, very tempting to to grab one. <laughs> we have a couple apple trees too, but they didn't bloom this year. It seems like they just bloom every other year. Anyway, so this is my Hobonichi Cousin of Ek, uh for July through December. And um, this cover I just uh, put together from um, a homemade paper um, that I, I actually didn't make this paper, but it, it looks very homemade. I love um, paper making. And uh, this one just has some really beautiful um, little textures in it. So I just made a cover out of that. And this is just a washi tape um, that I had. So anyway, so that's the cover. Okay, so August. Let's see if I can find August. Some of these, I'm going to, I don't think this is going to be a very long um, journal flip. Uh, some of the days, you know, not too much to talk about just, uh, you know, things in my daily life. Uh, we did go on a fun trip, so that's in here too. Um, but I'll just kind of go through. So this is the beginning of August. I don't really think there's a whole lot um, in these first couple pages um, that is very significant. Um, I'm starting to talk a little bit about prepping for this English paper piecing quilt that I'm doing, which I think I'm going to talk about a little later. I don't think that was in July. It's hard to remember. Um, so we'll, we'll look at that in a little bit. Um, but just kind of typical things. Went swimming, went to get some bird seed, that kind of thing. Um, let's she move this like that so you can see it better. So I like to just play with all the different washi tape and somebody asked, you know, how I come up with these designs and I really just, you know, they just are sort of organic. I, um, I look at uh, the pages before sometimes so that I'm not repeating colors, but I start with either washi tape or watercolor or ink um, to lay down as the base and then I just kind of go from there and they sort of evolve on their own. Um, so let me see here. Uh, I'm trying to read this as I go. Um, for a while, it was so warm um, here, you know, for compared to how it used to be or how it usually is um, here in the Pacific Northwest. And uh, I think all the birds got so warm that they moved a little bit farther north or something because all of a sudden, it was just like so warm and they were all gone. And um, I can luckily say that they're back now because um, I was missing them. Um, but I think it was just because of the heat. So anyway, so I have this little sticker here that says the whole world is a series of miracles, but we're so used to seeing them that we call them ordinary things. And that is by Hans Christian Andersen. And I just think that's so true. And I really try to appreciate just, you know, the incredible wonder of everything, you know, in this world and in this life. So, um, so anyway, I'm just talking about the birds and then we did get a new feeder, um, here. So we put that up and like I said, they're back, which is great. Okay. So I was just talking about lunch with the neighbors. Um, we have really good neighbors, which I'm really happy for one um, one couple in particular, and uh, we go over there a lot for lunch. So, and they like, especially uh, one of them likes very basic kind of um, uh, American, you know, Midwestern kinds of foods. So I don't, I try not to do anything too exotic for them. <laughs> I love all kinds of exotic ethnic food, but they like just, you know, 
regular um, American food. So I made a chicken salad, a cold chicken salad for lunch. So that was just the picture of that. Okay, so let me see here. I was just playing with inks here. This is, I know that this was a diamine steel blue, this blue color. And then I looks like I wrote with so, Soft Snows of O'Hara, which is a, a kind of a darker lavender purple, um, but subtle, not a bright, vibrant um, purple. And so I was writing with that. Um, I think this was um, Diamine Ruby Blues because I was using that a lot. Uh, it has a really pretty sheen. <clears throat> so, and then I was just, just talking more about um, using that Soft Snows of O'Hara because I kind of forgot about it. So I put that in one of my Twisby Goes and just enjoying that. And these splashes of color... I'm sure I've talked about before, but those are from um, sprays. And this, these are shimmer sprays from Lindy's Stamp Gang. And I have used those for, gosh, years and years. And you can get all kinds of different colors. And, um, and I sometimes forget about them because I'm using my inks and I'm using my watercolor, um, you know, watercolor selections. And um, I, I just kind of forget about the sprays. So I was remembering that. So, um, yeah, so I was talking about that. I think last time I was already talking about the fact that I love making these teacups. <laughs> and I use those to decorate a lot. This one has a little bit of a, um, a shimmer on top, which I talked about, I think, in last video. And uh, I like... You know, I like to blend um, colors, so it's really fun to do the teacups with all kinds of different colors, and I have no idea how they're going to turn out, so so that was kind of pretty. So now I am talking about our fun few days. We went um, to this uh, place in White Salmon, which is uh, down at the very southern border of Washington uh, by the Columbia River. And we stayed in this really cushy yurt that was totally furnished. I'm not sure if you can see. Oh, the sun is probably um, in here, but this is a this is the inside of the yurt, and it has a kitchen and a beautiful opening. Well, it's you know enclosed, but a beautiful opening in the center, and they had this wonderful deck out back and a grill, and um, it was just it was perfect. So. That was our little getaway um, for the summer, probably. I'm sure we'll do a little bit of camping, but um, but anyway, that was just, it was so beautiful. And it was up in the woods and private, and uh, we just relaxed and hung out there. So it was really nice. I had so much fun there. Oh, they had a hot tub too. And it was really fun to just jump in the hot tub every evening after dinner as the sun was setting or in the dark. And oh gosh, what a treat. So, so I was talking about that, and actually, <laughs> there's a picture of us in the hot tub, and the dog, Oscar, he wanted to get in there so bad because he loves water. He loves baths. He loves showers. He loves the sprinkler, and he he actually got up on there, and he was like pawing at it, trying to get in, but of course, um, you're not supposed to have pets in the hot tub, <laughs> and it was, it was, you know, too warm for him. Anyway, that was really fun, though. Um, so that was my kind of birthday week, birthday treat. My birthday's on the 12th. Oops, hang on. Okay, interruption, of course, from Oscar. And it was getting too sunny, so I had to close the shade a little bit. Um, but anyway, this was my birthday week, and it was so fun. And this is um, the Blushing Mushroom, Ferris Wheel Press Blushing Mushroom. Uh, which is really pretty, and I did a um, a swatch on that. So, so sometimes our son, even though he lives in Bellingham now, he'll spend the night if he wants to get up early and go disc golfing with dad or something like that. So, um, so it's always fun when he spend the spends the night, and I usually make you know fun dinner um, or whatever. So he was here. Um, and I'm still talking a little bit about the English paper piecing, which I think there's a picture of coming up here. 
So yeah, I had a lot of uh, fun interactions with friends um, on this day. Um, so let me see here. Um, I'm just talking about having this really lovely lunch with my friend. Um, she always remembers my birthday and I always remember hers. <laughs> and I, I rarely remember people's birthdays, but hers is easy to remember because it's uh, two days before my son's. So anyway, we have this favorite little Thai place that we go to um, lately. So she took me out for a fun um, Thai lunch. And um, here's another uh, watercolor paint that I often forget about. It's a set of uh, gold paints, as you can see. Hang on. I thought I would show you um, what it looks like. And, um, you know, I remember these on and off and, um, and then forget about them for a while. Uh, but they're really beautiful colors. Um, there are gold gold and more shimmery champagne gold and, and uh, white gold. And they really work well, they're watercolors, but um, as you can see, you know, they lay down really well and, and uh, make for really pretty um, journal uh, decorations. The washi tape uh, came from a package um, from Twisted, which is, I think, mostly a yarn store, but it was funny, I ordered um, a couple uh, Ziploc pouches, not Ziploc, uh, zip pouches, from there, um, and that was just on the packaging, so, anyway, okay, finally, here's a picture of the English paper piecing, so, um, I can't remember if I already talked about this, it seemed like I did, but you take, uh, some hexagon or square, uh, pieces, um, or any kind of shapes, and you, use you put your fabric around those and baste them around there somewhere and you make a whole bunch of them and then you piece them all together um little by little you know and, and just keep on piecing um until you have like these huge quilts or wall hangings or you know whatever um you want to use them for so it's very tedious and for some reason i say tedious but really I love doing that um, kind of meditative um, repeating patterns. I think that's why I like uh, lap swimming too. <laughs> anyway, so it's not tedious for me. It's like really fun and relaxing. So, um, so that's what that is. So, and I, of course, I have another cup there and uh, had some fresh cucumbers, uh, cucumber salad there um, with some ramen, I think, or something. Anyway. So yeah, so this is a picture of my progress. So these are all pieces that, you know, that I um, had sewn together. So you, you make a whole bunch of the pieces, um, you baste a whole bunch of them, and then you start little by little um, putting them together. Um, so there's that. Okay. This is a really pretty photo by Van Gogh. Um, I use some of the photos f f that I print out from my little HP sprocket, and I try to always uh, uh, give credit for things. Um, so it's kind of like, you know, collaging, like cutting pictures out of a magazine or something. But anyway, <laughs> so, so I thought that was really pretty. Okay, and then at the bottom here, I was just talking about um, finding a a uh, song with Rhiannon Gibbons um, and Paul Simon at the Newport Folk Festival, and uh, it was great. And I really, um, I really like her. Um, if you know who she is, and it was great to hear them singing together. And of course, um, also before that, I was um, listening to Joni Mitchell, um, which was wonderful. Uh, first appearance in a long time. So anyway, and I'm an old folk, an old folky. Uh, from <laughs> 60s and 70s. All right, so this, I was just talking about um, this dream that I had, which was um, just really, it It was challenging at first. I was on this kind of uh, razor edge of this kind of mountain 
cliff kind of thing and I was um, having to jump and I was telling people, ah, I, I don't think I can do this. And I kind of curled up in the base of um, one of these rocks and I looked up and it was just one of those scenes with just gorgeous um, open sky with a million stars. I used to love to stargaze and we don't get to do it too often um, anymore around here. It's hard to find really dark areas, but um, it was just beautiful. And then I looked over and saw this, you know, gorgeous kind of misty mountain um, in front of me, uh, far away. So anyway, <laughs> that was that dream. Uh, so the usual pool here, I go to the YMCA, Skagit YMCA, and it's a pretty new pool. Um, it was built, I don't know, a few years ago. I used to go to the old one um, and, you know, have been going to this new one and I'm really spoiled. Um, so they were closed for over a week for maintenance and I had to figure out where else to go. So we went to the pool in Anacortes, which is a gorgeous little island uh, community not far from here. We actually lived there for a couple of years. Um, and I had gone to the pool then, but that pool, um, it was great. It was so nice to have a place to swim for the, for that week, but, um, it's much older and, um, in need of some kind of tender, loving care and a, and a paint job. <laughs> so it was fun, but, uh, I was, you know, feeling like I couldn't wait to get back to the other pool that just the pool and the shower room and everything, you know, I'm pretty spoiled with this brand new YMCA here. So I was just talking about that. So yeah, then I was, uh, sometimes I just remember about different things. I have no idea, you know, I just like I'm playing around, but I remember that I had these paint markers, the Posca paint markers, and um, I just started doodling around in my sketchbook um, and, you know, ended up doodling this little thing here. So that was just why that's in there. Um, had some really sad news. My my aunt um, in Japan died. And um, she had been in ill health for quite some time, um, you know, but I, it, I didn't realize um, that it was so bad. And um, I got a letter from my uncle that she passed away, so that was sad. They live in uh, Kamaishi, which is where the horrible, tragic tsunami was. Um, gosh, when was it? About 12 years ago, I think. So they had, she in particular had a lot of, I think, a lot of tragic things in her life. And she was not a happy person um, throughout her marriage and it was it was just sad. She was a very sweet, kind uh, person. So anyway, I was just thinking about her. So yeah, so I spent another um, some time in Bellingham again. Bellingham is it's only thirty five minutes away. Uh, so I do things up there quite often, and and also of course you know my son is up there now, so I'm kind of back and forth there a lot. Um, so, yeah, so this is another beautiful photo. And this person posts a lot. Uh, Gabriel Corno has a lot of um, posts and has really beautiful um, work. So that's a photo by him. So this day, I was just having a lot of fun, as you can see, with uh, <laughs> using a lot of different colors different inks. I added this on after I got it because I didn't have this. This is the, um, gosh, what's it called? Oh, I have to look it up here. Hold on, sorry. Uh, the Diamine Golden Oasis. Um, yeah, as you can see, these are uh, the swatches from from yesterday's very long <laughs> swatching video. So okay, I'm just talking about finally cleaning out the cabinets in the bathroom and trying to redo everything. When we were at my dad's, they were so organized with things like that, and I just you know gave me a lot of incentive um, to get home and clean out. And of course, we did a little bit, but it's already been a few months. And I'm trying to get that done. So anyway, 
This is just a little, um, another little watercolor. I think it was watercolor doodle that I did a few years ago. And here I'm just talking about um, this wonderful, uh, easy eggplant zucchini tomato dish. I love eggplant. You know, of course, when I was young, I didn't like eggplant at all. Um, but I just have grown to really like it more and more and more. And I love trying all kinds of different recipes with eggplant. And this one looks kind of uh, messy because it's got some melted cheese on the top. But um, but it's super easy. This was an oven-baked dish with just eggplant, zucchini, tomatoes, uh, some mozzarella and Parmesan, and you just throw it in there and then we stuffed it into pita shells. Uh, so it was really yummy and very easy to make. So um, I think that that is it. This is um, September already, so uh, yeah. I'll start doing some September pages and you'll see those next month. Um, oh, and to end, I just have one quick little um, add-on here. I just got this in the mail. This is the Sailor Byakura, no, Byakuya. And um, it is another one of those chromo shading inks. Um, I think kind of like that... Uh, Neko Yanagi, the Manyo Neko Yanagi, but this one's, it goes on very gray, and then it ends up having this green under, um, underlying color that mixes with the gray, and then, you know, that beautiful pink shading there, so, um, so it's the sink, and, um, I just got this this morning, right after I did all of the swatching, so I I may do a swatch of it. Um, probably not. It's on here. So anyway, I just love those chromo shading inks. And uh, this is very light, but I think, you know, it's readable in terms of using it for letter writing or whatever. So I just wanted to end with that. And that's it for now uh, for this August flip. And I will see everybody soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.